my favorite comrades and people in the universe and all that good stuff. How's it going? This is Commissar Bro with Rogue State. It's been requested, and as such, I've decided to oblige. Every Tuesday, as long as everything goes well, I will be doing not only a Superpower 2 video, but also a video from Rogue State. That's right. We'll do a short little series on this one over the next couple of weeks. And I hope you guys are all going to have as much fun watching as I'm going to have playing it. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this game, it functions very similarly to games such as Democracy 3 or even Sim Junta. Games like that, you know. You're a, you're a president who takes over a newly formed republic. This one in particular is called the newly formed People's Republic of Basinji. Uh, uh, you elect to set your office in the royal palace of the late tyrant king, and so on so forth. Essentially, it's implied that this new country is formed out of uh, the fall of Saudi Arabia. That's right. So, you start out by establishing uh, positions for your people. That's right. So we're going to start with, uh, well, I don't know. We've got a bunch of positive stuff we can do here. I think I want to keep my military loyal, so we'll give that to Shahid Hussein. Uh, what else we got? We'll boost all foreign relations by plus one. Uh, intelligence break breakthroughs less likely. That's what we're going to give Farouk. We're going to make him our intelligence minister because, frankly, I could give two shits and a piss about it. Uh, we'll give this communications minister to our liberal party as well. Oh, man, what else are we going to do? Uh, we're going to shish that right there. We'll boost all foreign relations by plus one. No, we're going to do the finance minister. Give us plus three million income per turn. There we go. We have sent our positions. Now let's get started. All right. Now this is not my first time in the big chair. And this guy is going to come. He's going to talk to us. So I'm going to skip through all the stuff. As you wish, Excellency. Phenomenal. Yes, because again, I have a pretty good idea how to play this game. Oh, it looks like someone's calling us. Who could be calling us right now? Greetings, Your Excellency. I am King blah, 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 blah. On behalf of Zabil. And Ted, from the, the tyranny of the Solomon family. Do not hesitate to call me. Yes, of course, of course. There's nothing to talk about right now, but it was good getting in touch with you, my good man. Thank you for calling. Now, we're going to start out with improving our infrastructure. That's right. We're going to restore water and sewage. We're going to allow foreign aid workers. Mm, should we allow foreign engineering teams? I guess plus 10 military approval. Or should we do medical team, which is minus 3 costs to turn for health care costs? Mm, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do this one. Make our healthcare cost cheaper and also rebuild the power infrastructure. Boom. So we are well on our way to reconstructing our war-torn uh, 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 place here. Yes, that's right. So what else should we do? Well, we should probably start with policies. Let's kind of get an idea of how our policies are running right now. All right, so we're plus four a turn with Patriots, minus four uh, percent a turn with capitalists, plus two with fundamentalists, and minus four percent with liberals. Mm, no bueno, no bueno at all. And oh, look, they've added a bunch of little uh, things here that assist in actually uh, helping you understand, like, what does what. So, by having no free trade zone, it lowers GDP, but it keeps corruption low. Uh, turning it into a free trade zone... Wait, okay, no, 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 no. Having free trade, okay, lowers corruption and raises GDP. Ah, oh, well, of course we would keep it in the free trade zone. Makes the capitalists happier, but it upsets your patriots. No, no, no big deal, frankly. All right, so capable law enforcement keeps crime low, but higher corruption. And unless we max out our uh, police budget, it's it's just gonna it's gonna piss off liberals, but everybody else is. Okay, I suppose. What about a mass transit system? Will that help? It costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. And increases our support in general. So that's good. Alright, how about this one? This one does nothing but take money from us. So we're not going to do that one. Uh, how about this one? Okay, it makes capitalists a little bit happier. Okay, we've got capitalists to 0%. Now it does lower labor. Hmm, so that's not too good. Not too good. Okay, liberals don't like that. Of course, they don't like CCTV. Uh, what about this? What will this do? 
Okay, just affects our budget. But it brings down corruption. That's good. Uh, union powers limited. How about this one? Lowers jobs, rises labor, pisses off capitalists, but makes liberals happier. Yeah, let's keep it in the middle for now. Uh, how about the, not the death penalty? Okay, well, that seems to help us with liberals, but the capitalists are still unpleased. What about that? Boom! Government-run casinos. But it makes crime go up, which is no bueno at all. Hmm, yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Makes labor go down, crime is higher. Uh, we'll actually leave that right there. Right there, alcohol discouragement. Uh, no homeless shelters, lower support, affects money. Hmm, how are we going to get these capitalists on our side? We could increase... No, they don't like minimum wage. We could do more special permission visas. That gets them on the sides, but it puts patriots to the part where they don't like us. What about this one? It helps a little bit. Having functional schools, but we're now losing money. Oh my goodness. It's hard to get on everyone's good side. Ugh. Ugh. How about the, the, the limited disability things? Yes, that one. How about that? What about this one? Do the Patriots like that? No, they, they could give two shits and a piss about capable... Whatever. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't make people happy. <laughs> it's either, it's like a question. Do you want to piss off the Liberals? Do you want to piss off the Patriots? You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna, we're gonna piss off the Patriots for now. Let them be pissed. Let them be angry and not like me. I do what I must. Boom, there we go. Okay, CCTV. Alright, so we found a good... Uh, thing for everything. It shouldn't lower. It should stay roughly the same, which I'm okay with. So let's end our first turn. Alright. Much beloved imports of softwood furniture from India are correlated with an increase in unre er, with reported observations of an invasive palm beetle. If left unchecked, the beetle could devastate the palm trees along our beaches. Current, er, particularly in the Karif province to the south. Controlling these imports, meanwhile, will upset our capitalists greatly. Yeah, let's do this one. Whatever, capitalist. You'll be happy later. I'm sure I'll find a way to kiss your ass. All right. Another good turn. Let's get to the third turn because that's when we unlock more stuff to do. The UN has passed a landmark agreement requiring all states to cap carbon emissions at present levels with the exception to China, India, the United States, and Burkina Faso. Presumably because someone forgot to add them to the list. <laughs> While in balance, this agreement is anticipated to uh, have a demonst demonstrable, I guess that's meant to be? impact to climate change. Alright, the liberals will be pissed, but the capitalists will be happy. Uh, the capitalists will be pissed, but the liberals will be happy. Of course, we can't just have that. We can't have a cake and eat it too, can we? Good goodness. Basenji citizens are growing more patriotic. Let them. Let them be happy with us. Yes, look at all that improvement to our approval. Our overall popularity is at 66%. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to build some more infrastructure. Uh, restore financial services, plus 10 to capitalist support, plus 15% increase in tax revenue. Of course. Boom. Look at that increase. I love it. I love it. I love the artwork in this game as well. Uh, okay. And rebuild telecommunications infrastructure. More money. More money in my fat pocket. That's right. Excellency, the World Bank is offering Basenji a low-interest loan of $200 million for development projects with repayment terms of 7 million term for the next five years. Accepting this loan will disrupt short-term investor confidence in Basenji and cost us stuff. Refuse the loan, we don't need it, but we most certainly appreciate the fact that you considered us in the first place. That's right, so I'm going to end another turn. Alright, fundamentalist clerics are calling upon the government to prohibit luxury goods and denounce conspicuous consumption. Absolutely not. No, deny that request. We're not, we're not limiting the citizens of the great Basindri from luxurious goods, that means we would have to get rid of amusement parks, and you best believe your sweet ass. I am definitely not doing that. All right, so we restored the justice system, and we've restored state industries. Uh, we're going to imprison the monarchists, which keeps the monarch from filing with seditious thoughts, following the king's order, um, offer amnesty. They could pose a threat to our regime. Offer them. Yes, we can finally start to heal. Boom. So now we're actually in the real list of things that will mean something, really. Uh, so, option one minus one liberal. Uh, no, environmental. Uh, no. Okay, let's look at the, some of the stuff over here. So you want to keep in mind when you're doing this as well uh, to look at the end goal. The end goal is just as good as the early stuff. So, 
Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do the trade commission, huh? Yeah? Alright, and then I'm gonna do the American Hotel. Oh yeah, love me, America. Love me. Get on the United States' good side and good things will happen to you. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Increase no, we're gonna do this one. Five star service, that's right. Give me that extra money, and I think that's gonna take five turns to build. An old tanker is experienced tempered by catastrophic failure, spilling at least 500 tons of crude oil into the sea, which threatens to contaminate several pristine beaches. The impact of the environment and to tourism is anticipated to be severe. Cleaning up the spill should be a high priority to mitigate the economic effect. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to definitely have to do this one. Spend $100 million from the Treasury to manage the crisis. Tourism revenue declines. Well, I mean, I just got to do what I got to do. So, unfortunately, you attempt to raise an export revenue in the next five turns. Well, that's what we're definitely going to try to do, because the military's pissed off. Educators propose the English be taught alongside a native language. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Get on the good side of the United States. If you keep, like, catering to these other countries, you can ask them for uh, assistance later on, like money or military support, things like that. Why does my army hate me so much? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. The people love me, though. Give a eulogy for the hyena. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's give a eulogy for the hyena. He was a sweet hyena. He had lots of friends and buddies and so on and so forth. Patriots, prohibit foreign adoption. Continue to permit foreign adoption. The cabinet doesn't like me as much, but the United States doesn't get pissed at me. Eh, yeah, whatever. Prevent foreign adoption. It's not that big of a deal. We're, okay, we're one turn away from being positive again. Museum of Cultural Muse We can't afford a new museum right now. Yeah, we literally cannot afford a new museum right now. <laughs> All right, one more turn, and we will have been through 11 whole turns. All right, boom. To watch us on our holiday. Spare no expense. We must exercise. Yeah, yeah, until the greater problems have been solved. There we go. We just finally got positive. You have lost some respect. I don't care. Fuck you, Fatadine. Fuck you. Anyway. This has been Comics Hell Bro. Thank you so much for watching this new series of Rogue State. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. Seriously. I like this game. It's a very well done game. And I forgot I could just raise taxes. Stupid me. Stupid me. I make issues. I make, I make, I make problems. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this. I, I very much like this game. I think it's a very well put together game with a pretty decent amount of depth. Uh, as far as it goes, the uh, developers have clearly put in a lot of time and effort into making this something that's actually pretty solid. So, with that in mind, I very much like it. Anyway, this has been Kamisabro, and I'll see all you phenomenal people next time.